For the fastest, cheapest, most reliable coins on the market, check out my coin sponsor, MMOXP.com, and use discount code MONEYSHOT to get 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Snub of the Mad Cheese, as always. Got kind of an update video for you guys once again. Uh, as apparently there was more stuff hidden in the patch than I realized when I made uh, my video last week about the uh, patch notes that came out for Madden 24. I said in that video that I definitely noticed some things that were not reported on in the patch notes. I already mentioned in that video, and I'll have a link in the description if you guys want to check that out. I mentioned that I noticed that safeties were playing differently. They were playing deeper uh, and not like consistently. Like it was really based off of if there was nobody in their area. Uh, I also mentioned that tackles were doing a better job to kick out on athletic uh, edge rushers, almost like they were driving them to the line of scrimmage, uh, which was something that I noticed when I was playing a game against the Cowboys and uh, Micah Parsons, or Mika Parsons, I know I always say his name wrong. Um, but yeah, stuff like that I noticed, and I mentioned that, even though they weren't necessarily in the patch notes, but apparently there was a lot more that wasn't in the patch notes. And what I'm going to go over here today is a tweet that's a couple days old now uh, by a very reputable Twitter handle by the name of MuttLeaks. If you guys don't know, MuttLeaks was one of the first, uh, I think it was the first to break that there was going to be um, crossplay in Madden 24. And they were right about that. They're right pretty much every single time. So I'm very confident a lot of YouTubers have already put out content uh, commenting on this as they're very reputable. Now, the first tweet they put out was about a bunch of new catch, out knock uh, catch knockout animations, which I don't really care about. Some Randy Moss stuff, which I don't really care about. Uh, but they did mention something about 17 new ability stage. I'm going to go over that list today. Uh, in the patch notes, they did mention how they already are tuning certain abilities and i did mention that six abilities were tuned to be more effective in the patch notes that came out so they are thinking in terms of new abilities uh, but this is a whole new list of abilities here that i'm going to go over in today's video but before i do as always if you guys want to see more content like this please make sure to be a subscriber hit the like button let me know in the comment section as it really helps out the video and the channel and i appreciate the support other than that i hope you guys are having a good holiday weekend as well uh, which is one of the reasons i'm putting out a, a quick short video today so i can enjoy my holiday with my family but i hope you guys are enjoying the same other than that, let's go let's get right into the video. Now, the first one here that I'm going to go over, I'm going to try to go over some of the ones that I think are some of the more broken ones first. Starting with the first one on the list here, and that's third down threat, which is better third down uh, mid-range catching versus single coverage. Now, this only goes up to 25 yards, but realistically, if you're on like a third, I mean, who's in a third and 27? You know what I mean? That's not very realistic, but if you're within like a third and 10 to third and 15 or something like that, and all you got to do is put your, put your receiver who has this ability on a 10-yard out route or whatever or a 15 yard out route and you're going to catch it every single time that's going to be really broken that's going to be to the point where you're going to have to double team that guy on third down or you're just going to have to use that area and try to you know try to bait that guy i mean that's good that's definitely going to add a wrinkle in the third down um you know which is something that i think and you know that could definitely be a huge advantage if you have a receiver that has that these abilities that i'm going to go over by the way I don't know if they're going to be in regular head-to-head -head online uh, play, but they're definitely going to be in Mutt because a lot of this stuff is typically towards Mutt. When I go through this list for the most part, it looks like a lot of this stuff is really geared towards combining abilities and probably getting a lower AP for them. So that's that's what I kind of look at. This looks more like it's based towards Mutt, but it'll probably be available in franchise modus things you can unlock as you progress your players and stuff like that as well. So third down threat looks pretty good. One that I think is really interesting as an Eagles fan, uh, as, as the uh, ability that I would imagine Jason Kelsey would have, is Lynchpin. It says stronger blocking from all offensive linemen. Players with this ability grant improved blocking to the entire offensive line. This year, I feel like um, linemen are way more important. So that's something that I would love to have on my line is a guy that can make the entire offensive line uh, block better. It doesn't say whether it's run or pass, so if it's both, it's even better. They have one here uh, called Lurk Artist too, which is improved and spectacular picks for lurking defenders. Defenders with this ability can make uh, can make 180 degree jumping interceptions while lurking in the zone in the middle of the field. So basically you have to be in a zone coverage over the middle, which makes it sound like maybe linebackers would have this, but uh, linebackers barely jump as it is. So to think of them doing 180 degree jumping interceptions sounds crazy. That sounds like something more safety would do. So it's going to be interesting if these are, if this is more for sub package safeties or for linebackers, but you have a, it says you have a greater interception rate and you don't tire after the interception so basically once you make that interception 
you got full stamina the rest of the play, uh, which could be you know much bigger for interception returns, touchdowns, and stuff like that. I, I could think of a guy like uh, Derek Brooks having that. I don't necessarily, uh, you know, not a lot of current NFL players jump out in my mind, but that's a guy that I would think that would be perfect for Lurk Artist. Um, you know, come back to this video in time once that car comes out. If he hasn't come out yet, I really don't know because I don't really play much this year. But uh, that's definitely uh, something I can see for a guy like that. Um, there's a there's another one here. Interior threats is dominant pass rush moves from the interior. Dominant pass rush moves from the interior defenders with this ability use faster, more dominant pass rush moves uh, while rushing from the interior of the defensive line. Very self-explanatory. Uh, this here, I mean, it feels like Chris Jones already has this. <laughs> Uh, I can see Aaron Donald having something like this. So, you know, that obviously uh, is, like I said, it's pretty self-explanatory. They have one here that I think is probably one of the most broken ones called Enforcer Supreme. Now, it already is an enforcer, uh, but this one here says it grants unbreakable, demoralizing hit sticks. Defenders with disability don't allow broken tackles. They cause heavy fatigue penalties and will clear a ball carrier's progress towards entering the zone when landing a hit stick. So that's another huge one. I can't, once again, I can't really think of anybody um, that would uh, have that. I don't know, maybe like Bobby Wagner or something in the regular game. Uh, but that's something, once again, that sounds more like, you know, I would think like Sean Taylor would have that in Mutt whenever that card comes out. Stuff like that. A lot of these really feel uh, more obvious towards Mutt. Uh, but a lot of these are just really combinations. Like Enforcer already kind of exists. Uh, I don't really know. This one here just seems like it's a combination of Enforcer. And I think there's one that's, uh, that's about, you know, causing fatigue. Although, I'm, I'm, if I remember correctly, it was an offensive player. I think it was Bruiser um, that had that ability to, to, to cause fatigue to defensive players. They have a lot of these here that are basically the same thing, just for different positions. They have backyard QB, backyard halfback. Uh, backyard wide receiver, backyard tight end, and master technician, which is like a combination of all of those. I'll go over what those are right now. Backyard QB is additional hot routes, but also faster playmaking uh, reactions, which if you ever use the playmaking, it's kind of useless because they react so slow. You know what I mean? Like you'll be holding up for like two, three seconds before the receiver actually turns up field, and you don't have that much time to hold the ball anyway half the time. So faster playmaking kind of makes that – um, a little bit more uh, prevalent, makes it more of a, of a better option uh, if you can get a fast reaction. And it says reaction, so it makes me wonder if you can do more than one in a play, which would be very broken. That would be very nice. If you can react, if you can move a guy around a couple times and just use him until you get him open, I mean, that'd be really cool. Uh, backyard halfback and receiver and tight end are all the same thing. They just, that individual player has more routes. If you have a quarterback, you can do that to anybody, but if it's an individual position, obviously you can do that with that position. And once again, you get faster playmaking responses. Now, Master Technician is all that plus one more ability where you can actually make uh, you know hot route adjustments faster, which is something that's already in the game called Conductor. So you basically get Conductor on top of Backyard QB, which, uh, you know, once again, that sounds like a mud thing. This all sounds like it's geared towards uh, lessening the AP burden uh, by combining these uh, abilities. Now, they also have one here called Omniscient, which highlights the user defender uh, and also third and fourth down blitzers. So that sounds like a combination of blitz radar and identifier. Identifier is one that I always like to use because I always want to know where the where the user is uh, pre-snap because I, I typically, that to me, that's a huge advantage. But to combine that with the ability to know who's blitzing on third and fourth down is obviously uh, very good. It says it can be bluffed too, which is interesting. You can always bluff blitz if somebody has that on. After that, there's a couple that are just kind of tweaks on what's already in the game. You have short elite, mid elite, and deep elite. Now, I know typically you have like short in elite, which is a specific type of route. This seems to be just any route under 10 yards. Mid elite, mid elite is any route 10 to 20, and then deep elite is any route 20 plus, which that one sounds like it might really be broken, especially if you're playing mutt, uh, because that's going to be something where they're going to run um, – more consistent, it says they're going to catch more consistently while catching passes 20 plus yards. So, if you can just get a one on one and just throw it up, and a guy with deep elite can just go up and moss it over and over, I mean, that's going to be, um, you know, that's going to be broken for sure. Definitely some interesting ones, definitely some things that when they drop, you guys are going to have to game plan them. Typically, when everything's when something's new in the game, it's usually pretty broken until they balance it. Let me know in the comment section which one of these you guys think are going to be the most broken and which ones you can't wait to use. Other than that, like I said, I'll have the video from the update uh, pop up on screen as well as a tip video that i just put out so if you guys want to see them i'm sure they'll help out your game and that's it thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more link in the description below